Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Historic Challenges and today the difficult challenge is actually at Malaysia so that does play into my favour and it's MotoGP so let's first of all check who's on the market so we've got Loris Caparossi 2003 Wayne Gardner 92 and Kenny Roberts Jr 2004 so hopefully those guys will still be on the market when we've done the challenge although I think the market did the market change last time after I'd done a challenge which was a bit weird so then we'll start this challenge then, so who are we going to play as? Obviously, last time we played as Spider-Man Melandry, so I think we'll play as Edwards this time. Have we already got Caparossi 2003? Ah, uh, no, it's Caparossi 2004, I was going to say. So we're down on the grid then, and Shinji Nakano is actually on pole positions, so that's pretty interesting. I'm guessing we're going to start in 6th place again. That's where you tend to start. Max Biaggi 2nd as well. So I'm guessing we are going to be 6th. No, Kato is 5th. Yes, here we are in 6th place, playing as Colin Edwards. For some reason we have the Tasker Racing Moto2 Umbrella and Umbrella Girl. That's a bit weird. It's interesting, I don't know if that's a glitch, or if they've just put the wrong texture in the game, I'm not sure. I will go and investigate at some point, I'm sure. We've also got red as our colour as well, which seems a bit weird. We'll start the race now, and hopefully we can try and get a win here and get the 15,000 diamonds. So Nakano on pole then, that's quite interesting. Biaggi alongside him, Okawa as well on the front row. I wonder if Okawa will drop through like he did before. Lights and away we go. We've had a pretty decent launch, not quite as good as we had at Austin. But here we go now on the second phase of the acceleration. We hit the front as we hit the brakes. For turn one here, we've gone in way too wide into the first corner. Biaggi's got back through, so is Okawa. We have a contact with Nakano there. I think Kato's trying to go around the outside. Someone's gone wide. There's been a crash. Dodge kato has gone down. Shinya Nakano's come straight back underneath us there. I'm trying to run it around the outside of Nakano. He's got back in front of us with the wrong gear completely. So we hit the brakes once again. Oh, I've lost the front. Oh, no. Oh, dear. So hopefully we'll go a bit better this time, not crash. So waiting for the lights to go out. Lights on, away we go. We've had another pretty good launch. So we go past Ukawa. We go past Biaggi. We've hit the front much earlier this time, hitting the brakes again. Hopefully we don't go in so wide, but we've done exactly the same thing. In fact, I've gone even wider this time. So we've lost a load of positions, but we're hanging it up the inside now. So up to fourth place, we're past Ukawa, I think, up to third. Now Ukawa's come back at us. Nakano's re hit the front, so he lost the lead, but he's gone back to the front, round the outside of Ukawa now. Biaggi up next, trying to go on the outside of Biaggi, there we go, but we've gone in way too hot and I'm trying to trail too much on the front, don't want to crash again, there's been a crash behind, Troy Bayless has gone down, so still between Biaggi and Ukawa. So Yamaha versus Yamaha here with me and Biaggi, and the Honda behind us, but the, the other Japanese manufacturer, or one of the other ones anyway, is out front with the Kawasaki of Shinya Nakano. Oh, there goes the car at the inside because I've run wide. It's going to probably take me a couple of laps to get used to this bike, I'm assuming. Around the outside of him, though, for the hairpin. Oh, the car was just crashed! He's knocked us wide! Oh, oh, and he's hit us again and we're down! No! Oh, how unlucky are we? Right, so we're down in 18th now. Can we make a comeback? Right, so I finally caught the pack now. We're right up behind Malandri. He's struggling a little bit. Seems to be quite a big train of AI, so I'm hoping... Oh, I think I see someone's already got away at the front. I think it might be second place for us here at best. But that's if we can even get through the pack. But Rukar has really not done us much good here. To go around the outside of Melandry. So up into 17th now. He's going to come back up the inside though. Yes, he is. I'm going to try and run it around the outside. Yamaha versus Yamaha. There we go, so we're back up into 17th now. Burn is up next, ahead of, uh, Vermeulen's ahead of him. So we hit the brakes of the last corner. Have I gone in hot, or are they just braking early? I think it's a bit of a mixture of the two. It's really difficult to ride this on the edge grip, because look how warm the edges of the tyres are. I'm already regretting my tyre choice. So Nakano still leads, but Stoner is up to second. I think Stoner's going to be the one that's going to try and get away. So me and Vermeulen just blasted past Burn there. So we hit the brakes for the first corner. Leaning on Nicky a little bit there. Last time I had a Repsol Honda at the inside that didn't go too well. So we go into turn two. Oh, almost contact with the Mulan there. 
Vermeulen's got a massive wheelie on, so up to 15th. Oh, we around the outside. Yes, we are up to 15th place now. Around the outside of Hayden. Wow, okay. That was a misjudgment there. So here we go, so we're approaching the hairpin. I feel a bit of deja vu going around the outside of a Repsol here. To be honest. Oh! Oh, we've clipped Simoncelli! So we go around the outside of Simoncelli anyway. Oh, oh yeah, actually you can ride on that curve now. I was thinking it was last year and I thought it was going to crash, but I forgot the curves don't absolutely destroy you most of the time now. They do still sometimes, but not so much. Look at the tyre where the tyre is already half gone. Well, I suppose we're about halfway through the race. After we've completed this lap, it will be over halfway through, but the tyre on the right hand side is gone already. We're closing up to Kenny Jr. ahead of us. It's been not a bad comeback so far, but it's, yeah, Stoner's hit the front, and Stoner is lapping so much faster than me. It's lapping about two seconds quicker because I'm being held up by these guys. So I passed Kenny Jr. now. Who's up next? Chivenal. Chivenal's pushing Dovi wide, it seems. We're going for the move on Dovi into the hairpin. Oh, oh, we've mass we've hit Chivenal now. We've now got moderate damage instead. We've now had Chivenal off. That has really, really not gone very well here. Dovi still got back passes after all that as well, so we've just basically rammed Jibinau out for no reason. So we're at the hairpin again, so we're going to try to move on Dovi again. Hopefully we don't hit Lorenzo. Oh, well, we still did, so... The AI just seems to squeeze you close to the corner on the exit. But Lorenzo's made a bit of a mistake here. Can we... Oh, we can't muscle his way through. Dovi's just hit me. Dovi's almost had me off. So there's Lorenzo ahead, then there's Rossi ahead of him. I don't think we're going to get much higher up because the tyres are so gone. Dovi has just gone so hot. It's unbelievable. Back up the inside of him. And he's come back at us again. So we've been stuck behind Dovi for two laps now. It's ridiculous. So we never did recover from Ukawa absolutely destroying us at the hairpin. So it's another attempt yet again. But we do know that it's Stoner now. It's the AI you have to watch out for because he's the one that got to the front and he was absolutely gone. It was about five seconds in front of everybody. I'm sure it was something like that. It looks like that anyway, from down in 11th place. Oh, someone's gone really wide to the first corner. I think it's Ukawa. Oh, no, it's Ma Max Biaggi's gone down. Max Biaggi's gone down. I think it might be Ukawa as well, though. Kato's right behind us. Oh, there's another crash. Barros is down. Why are all the AI crashing? So at the end of the first lap, then, we are two seconds in front already. It's Stone is seventh, so we can try and... Pull out a bit of a gap, we should be able to have this one. The end of the second lap. 3.8 seconds. So basically what I found out by doing these challenges is that the AI suck when you get far in front of them. There's a crash. Stoner's down. Right, that's pretty much our only opposition gone now, I think. And he took Melangi with him, it seems. Oh, Stoner's crashed again. Oh, we are in big trouble here. Uh, I've been running power mode 1 the entire race. I've got 1.8 laps of fuel left. And we're on lap 5 of 7. So that's not enough fuel. So we're going to have to go into 0. And hope we don't run out. Because I've not been using excessive fuel. But I think there's a glitch sometimes with the game. Where you don't have enough fuel. Alright, we saved a lot of fuel on that lap. So I think we should be okay now. Ah, Stonus is on a 159.4, so that's why he was the one we had to watch out for, because he's about a second and a half a lap faster than me. But the reason, the thing is, he's crashed twice, so he's been absolutely no threat to us. It's why I wanted to build out a gap, because I'd seen the times he could set in the previous ones, and the, the other AI couldn't even get close to that. They were nowhere near him. So he's setting these 59s. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to have to, mo like, you know, massively get away, and he might reel me in, and then he crashes twice, and... So over the line, start the final lap then. We actually started to run out of fuel again. Uh, the fuel is, seems very weird. I know it's supposed to be the amount of fuel you have left in the current power mode, but then we had way too little. And then I got it up to, like, probably about half a lap too much, so I put it back into power mode 1. And then I ran out, you know, I wouldn't have had enough fuel again, so I'm going to leave it in zero to the end of the race now. But yeah, it's been a very, very easy victory just because all the AI except Stoner are terrible. And Stoner crashed, so about a million times. I think he's still battling with like Melandry. 
So I think he's just caught up to the other AI that have crashed once, basically. So he is, like, genuinely a head and shoulders above the rest. It seems to be how these challenges work. They make one of the AI extremely fast, and they make them start a bit further through the pack, so they have to they have to come through. Because, obviously, we had Barros in the first one. Austin was ridiculously fast, and then Lawson was ridiculously fast at Thailand, compared to everybody else. And then this one, it's Stoner, but Stoner crashed in this one, so it made it quite easy. I think even if he crashed once, he would have still got second, to be honest. Just because of how much faster he was than all the other AI, but... I took advantage of getting to the front and pulling out a big gap. You know, thinking that he'd probably start to hunt it down, it would be a close battle, but then he crashed. So, kind of ruined it a bit, didn't it? Our tyres are holding up pretty well, considering we're on the last lap. Must be said. Out the last corner then. Coming up towards the line to absolutely destroy this challenge. Stoner made it pretty easy for us. Oh, so actually... Kato sped up a lot because we had 6.6 .6 seconds going into the last two corners of the track and then we had 5.4 at the end apparently and then he did a 59.7 which he had not even got close to. It seems that the simulated times were meant to be faster. It's weird. It really is weird because like they all did times that were faster than what I was doing for most of the race, and they did not reel me in. I was doing two or ones for most of the race. Let's have a look at Stoner's lap then. Where was Stoner? So Stoner did a 59.4, which was a lot faster than my fastest lap. Uh, so did Kato, but... Yeah, it seems to be a bit weird. The AI in this game are very... I don't I don't know the word. They're, they just don't seem to act right for the, the current situation. But anyway, we easily won that one, so thank you to Stoner, I guess. So then we got the 15,000 diamonds, which, is, which puts us up to 21,100. Ah, so there's a different market again. It seems really odd. Like, the market changes when you do a challenge. Is that how it's supposed to be? Because I thought the market updated every day. But then it changes whenever I do a challenge. Well, I'll buy all these. So we've got the two Yamahas now, the, the 2002 and 1 versions. And then we also got the Repsol Honda 2007. But is that it? We can we not buy any riders? Oh, we missed out to buy those other riders then. So, I think I need to buy the riders when I see them. And then do the challenge and we should get something different. I think that's maybe what I'm supposed to be doing. So that's the end of this video then, of course. It turned out to be a little bit different than I expected. I did, uh, obviously, a couple of attempts, like I usually do. Mainly because AI will knock me off or I'll do something stupid like Crash. Uh, the Ukawa one was very odd because, obviously, he knocked me off which lost me so much time, and then I had to use all my tyre to catch back up to the AI, which I did do. I did to catch them, but then fighting through them was very difficult because the damages are so sensitive. Obviously, I already had damage, so I had a lack of straight line speed and cornering ability. It affects you everywhere, and then if you have a bit of contact with the AI when you're trying to make a move, or if they just hit into you, you just get more damage, so it makes it much more difficult. And I was on the wrong tyres in that one as well, really. I was on a soft medium when really I need to be on medium hard, which is what I did in the last race, and it was so much better. But I hope you did enjoy that video. I should have had a mixture of some of the different attempts in there. It seems to be a bit chaotic in these challenges sometimes, and I hope you do enjoy that. But like I said, I hope you did enjoy the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you're staying safe, and I shall see you in the next video.